What's up, everyone? Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Talker Moments. Today, I have a guest that I'm supposed to be fighting with. Yeah! You can't fight me. It's We're supposed possible. to be. Because apparently you came for me 10 years ago, bitch. Uh, How you going to come for me 10 years ago? What I, th did I, <laughs> I think I apologize in year eight, year six, and year four. I I remember actually on your other show. Yeah, we talked ah, talk about it. Shows, yeah. On your other show, you were like, why did you even bring that up? I forgot about it. I forgot. But well, so. your people brought, up, brought it back. I was... One day, one evening, I woke up and I was trending on Twitter. Right. And it was like, oh my God, she came for... And I said, came for who, how, when, this. And then they dug up... The way these people yeah. can dig up shit. They dug up tweets from 10 years Ten ago. 10 years plus. And said that we were not speaking. I may on even the show, have I mentioned like, of course, it, we are speaking. Sha, you mentioned it in the house. I may have mentioned that maybe the occurrence happened, but not that we were not speaking. Well, Obviously, did you mention it? It's possible. See, yeah, when I was there, I just had like no filter. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't recall that I did, but yeah. it's, it's, it's possible. Yeah. So that may be where they went to go and Dig run it off. Because from... I was actually shocked, genuinely, because yeah. I was like, what, what exactly? But I, I, I mean, well, welcome back Thank from your you. journey. Thank you. I'm sorry that they dragged you. No, through, it's okay. I mean, come it on. with me. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> it was just one of those things where I thought, you know, everyone, we've moved past that. Yes. And of I, course. I, you know, of course there'll be. When it comes to this sort of reality TV shows, first that was how is your mental health, my girl? Shambles. Uh, you know what Shambles. I, I give you are always very but I'm holding honest up. and very, <laughs> very, very. I, I, I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how, you know. I, I, I just don't think I'm reality TV, um, unscripted. Unscripted. Material. Oh, well, oh, you, you actually would I, make very good material. You, you think so? But you don't. You wouldn't want that. Like nakedness, so yeah, I think because I got to film at Biggest House after you guys had left, yeah, and I realized I I don't salute you guys enough. I don't like people, and to have that many people, I don't know how I would have gotten through weeks and weeks of that. But I think you gave us quite a show because you were one of the most talked about people I this heard. season. I'm uh, still talking about me, <laughs> <laughs> and they have a name for you. We have. Mm -hmm. I have a few names. Ben I Vita. I have. Have you heard names. that one? I've heard that one before. I've heard others. But that huh? one's not sweet. No jig. Yeah. yeah. Which other ones did you hear? Ah, uh, Venom. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one because Venom is a, a superhero. He got powers. So, girl, do you think that you were like a mean girl this season? Um, I think, you know. So let me go straight into where this thing started. Yeah. We had house guests that came in. Mm -hmm. And obviously, the house guests are privy to information before the show. Oh. However, it may not necessarily mean that they all watch, like, religiously. Mm -hmm. So I guess in when they came in, when there was, like, a fresh, mm. you know, dynamic flip, some people were kind of, like, trying to gauge and find how they could communicate what the current story was when they last checked. Mm. So when you go, when you were about to go into this kind of experience, there's a process that they put you through. And mm. I can't really talk about, about all that. of it. Yeah, of course. But any information they had would have been like quite post-dated before mm. they actually were Came. able yeah. to come into the mm. house. And uh, there are people who said they didn't say anything, but, you know, there was, like, exchanging of notes, dropping in the bathroom, people reading and doing whichever. They did that? Um, I don't know if you recall, there was a time Biggie took all our writing material away. So there was a time Biggie took all our writing material away, and it was for purposes like that that, that, that include that. Do you that, think that people yeah. were sharing information with other people about people in the house? They were definitely sharing information. So um, when I was in one of the parties... That had reached my ear. Mm. And I guess the person told me it in a way like, okay, maybe you can adjust or do whichever. And I was like, ah, I'm Venito. Mm. You know, I'm actually, um, I did carry cutlass for many things. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't play with my work. She said cutlass. <laughs> I don't play with the standards mm -hmm. of relationships that I keep with people. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you do ever find yourself on the other side of me. You know, I don't play about that either. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I just think I'm just very good with my sword. Mm. I don't think it's... Is the sword here your mouth? 
Yes, I okay. would say in my mouth. Yeah. But in actual fact, there was definitely balance. Um, there have been, you know, other mm. videos circulating even from housemates that I've had disputes with, which indicate, you know, mm-hmm. that it's not quite as it seems. Mm. And uh, I, I know who I am, so I, I, I'm not too... St- I wasn't too stressed about yeah. it, mm. you know. But my explosive time is probably mm. when I am. Do you, feel like, do you feel like people don't cut you enough slacks in the sense that... The whole purpose of this is for you to be yourself. And then you are yourself. And then it's mm. like, you are too much of yourself. You know, should you have then now been not yourself in, in order to not get this sort of level of, you know, hate? Um, I don't know. I'm actually going to leave that. I don't know. Because regardless, the story has to be told. And you, I am not, ex- you know, in charge of what parts of my story someone Mm. puts out because it's a 24 hour show and you have to squeeze it into one hour for highlights if you're not watching on tv you watch what you can online which is the most interesting parts so if you were not able to see the other parts that were fun or chill maybe they were not just that mm. interesting mm. Um, i mean this is not even about the people who are watching i'm just saying in terms of the whole purpose of going on a show like this is people mm-hmm. who tell you be yourself would really help you to you know survive in shows like this but then you found situations where this is who I am and then it's like it's too much yeah you the do, there are you know a few there there are some cornices that you're like huh okay but I was just being myself you know but it's it's part of it when you decide that you want to do this you know there's one thing everyone says about you people always say how much of a good mom you are and how I appreciate you raised that. and balanced your kids I was in a conversation with someone actually and they were like her kids are literally well behaved. Very. And I know you've been on this journey by yourself. And yeah. it hasn't been quite, you know, yeah. the most straightforward. Straightforward yeah. journey, you know. Yeah. How do you go through all of this and still be that mom to this? Girl? I wish I knew I don't know. So I get a lot of messages like, how do you do it? I don't know how I do it. I think um, God puts some people in place for me at the right time. And then there are the people who will always support and love you. So I'm glad you mentioned this, actually. I remember calling you during one of my crises. And you just have to find your like-minded tribe, people Mm -hmm. who can actually relate to what you are talking about, Mm -hmm. what you are going through. You had a conversation with me. It was a very long one. I felt so much better. Um, I'm glad I could do that because I, I mean I think that for me just even seeing you struggle with all these public opinions I know you and I yeah. know how tough it is mm-hmm. and I know that we're in an industry where it's eat or be eaten literally yeah um, you know I I, I want to get up from here and give you a hug so bad because I know that girl it's... But they're not going to eat me, though. <laughs> That's the thing. I'll be hurting. I'll be injured. I'll be limping. I'll be crying. It's stressing me out. But mm. I'm not. it's not me that you're ever going to get down. It's nice to see that, I mean, you have that sort of attitude about it. You would you do fight. this again? Would you go for this sort of show again? I actually said that I would, but not on this. Like, now the only thing higher than this, sorry, or the only thing is if they decided to do a Big Brother Global and mm. invite, like... Two people or one of few people London, from different from countries. Yeah. That's probably the only way. Because mm. it would be a new version of the experience. Mm. Um yeah, that's that that's that that's it. But right now I'm still I'm dealing with uh, <laughs> with what, what happened. What, what is what left. is what is the biggest thing for you? If you looked at the entire season and your part to play, because you know, as as much as you did your best and you had your good sides. You also had a bit of... And there were quite a number of controversial things that happened in the Big Brother yes, house. Yes, there was quite That a involved few. you. First, the Libby throwing of clothes, how you got into that mix. So now let me even clear this up because as I was sitting there, I was literally like, ah, Biggie, why now? Biggie, what's going happen? Mm-hmm. So I was already seated in the locker area. Okay. We had come in from a party, I mm-hmm. guess, or something. I was drinking. I was sat next to Shay. Can't remember what he was saying to me at the time, but it was kind of funny. So if you actually watch the clip, I'm laughing with Shay before they even 
So there was a conversation running prior to that. Mm-hmm. So did I know that there was some tension? Yes. Did I know exactly who, what, had which bone and why and how deep it went? No. So I'm sitting there with Shay, laughing or whatever, and I, EK is approaching, just looking weird. And if you actually listen to the clip, you hear me say, what happened? Why is EK angry? Mm. I'm still laughing. Then I see Budoof, or like a suitcase goes down. Mm. I don't actually know whose suitcase it is. Oh, really? This was you guys week, all just knew all your stuff. This was cause... week three or four. Mm-hmm. Three or four. And we've all come in there. I think the person who had the least amount of suitcases came in with like three. Some of us have five. Every week we have to pack and put our excess away. I am all the way on one side of the locker. Okay. I can, don't know who is at the okay. end per se. I know the Fest. people, but mm-hmm. I don't know who's in which order. I know who's next to me. I know who's next to Shay. Mm-hmm. That's about it. So suitca- I didn't know. So I jumped up and I was like, I can see this is drama. He's not answering anybody. I don't know what this is about. Literally, before the thing, I literally jumped over the box and ran in the room. I said, I don't want to be part of anything that's going mm-hmm. on. I didn't know whose suitcase it was. Obviously, as time went on, I can identify the box. I had no idea that he, all of that was going on. So it wasn't like this thing happened and we sat there and mm-hmm. we got up and left. Mm. I got up and jumped and mm. passed once I saw that this one is mm. not responding. I'm too lit for this. And I'm not personally going to sit there and deal with that. There was another situation, I think maybe a few days before that or a week before that, where I had already stopped a situation with her already, mm. you know. And we were not necessarily on good terms. Mm-hmm. So that wasn't, it wasn't a thing of yeah. I knew that's what mm-hmm. they wanted to do. I knew but that this was her stuff. But how people outside saw it? It's, it's what I'm saying to you now. Yes. You came across as, you're supposed to be a girl's girl. Even if that person is not your person. Yeah. Nobody should trash anybody's belongings. You should be the one to be like, boy, are you crazy? There was no, at that time, there was no trashing. Mm-hmm. There was box down. And then like hangers. And we're all stealing each other's hangers. We actually steal each other's hangers. So I knew, okay, you're doing something, but I don't know what you're doing. I don't mm. want to be involved in it. I didn't know it was targeted towards Ile Baye. I didn't know what was in EK's mm. mind. He looked menacing. I asked him, what's up? I'm laughing over here with the gist of something else. Someone else talking to you. He's knocked a box over. I'm like, I want no parts. And I'm out. Mm. I did not see any of the rest of it mm. at all. Um, I did not know that it was her box. Having said that, when there has been a situation with her in trouble, I have been there to defend her. Mm. I have also been in direct confrontations with her as well. Yeah. So it's like... It's, we don't jig with You don't, can't yeah. really, like... I don't know. It's You can't really take any of these confrontations, like, that peak in that house. I was never violent. Um, I use my words. <laughs> and your words sometimes. No, but you, like... <laughs> Ah, it's not rich. I don't yeah. know say now nah, mm. how the thing But even is. the way you guys used to exchange words sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to literally call people's homes. I it used to... You've also been in one of those ones where you are going at each other and it's just like, so, there's no... Everybody, there's no, no better. Lim- there's no limits. You know what I mean? So I think what it is, is, is the dynamics of relationships that people need to understand. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the people that I had like something or a level of history of care or something, I generally had major issues having um, direct confrontations with them. them. The people I did have confrontations with are people that maybe I may have seen them, I'm okay, I may have even worked with you, but I don't know you like that, you don't know Mm. me like that. So So it it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, I don't really, you know, I'm shooting to to injure, am I not? Mm. The same way the person is shooting to injure. Mm. Except again, like I said, I'm very good with my words. Mm. Had there been like Mm. someone else going toe to toe with me, like if I was went toe to toe with Shay, that would be bloody. We're very good with our words. Mm. So true. Mm. My mouth was my weapon. I never was aggressive or physically violent Mm. towards anybody. Were you ever tired of it all? Of course. While you were in the house. Of course. Of course. There were a few times I was tired. Mm. But you sit in your tiredness. You say, oh, I'm tired. You roll on the ground. And then you get up. Mm. That's what I do. 
on a previous show that I was on, um, I think I I got to speak to like the finalist, you mm-hmm. know, and Mercy talked about how you and her needed to have a conversation. And, okay. You know, have you have you guys had the conversation yet? We haven't had any conversation yeah, I mean, as of yet. Both of you, I know you guys knew each other before. Yes. You got into the house. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And yes. you know, having to have that situation happened where, you know, it seemed like, well, she heard through a book and you also were trying to protect what you guys shared before. I know. understand that because mm. I've sat on the couch and Ebuka has said a question or a mm-hmm. comment that somehow affects me. Mm-hmm. So I get the feeling of the intensity in that moment, which is why I did not bulk into the bait. So I understood she was angry. I got that. But what I didn't like or what I wanted to clear up was that I am not getting up and running around with a parade for you. So what's the hardest part about being a single mom? Um, let me think. The times you're away. Hmm, that's fair. Um, even if you're having fun, you feel guilty. They always say that. Yeah, you you feel guilty. And then um, I do worry about what else do I need to do? What else do I need to give you? Um, because they're growing. Like, they have different needs. Like... It's not just, oh, mommy, I want this toy now. It's like, I want to do this. I would like to go to this place. I've read about it in this book that you bought for me. So I want to. So they're quite inquisitive. Yeah. So I, I just always hope that I can meet up. Oh, yes. I and I do meet up yeah. all the time and then some. But for some reason, I'm just always like. Yeah, you live in constant. I think that's yeah. one of the reasons why, as a person, I've also struggled with wanting to start my own family because I've always been afraid of being responsible for you would make another a great life mom. and just feeling like, would I screw this up? No, you would make a great would mom. They... You'd be an obsessed mom if, if you have one. That. Oh my God, Toke, you would be. The way you treat your dog, you would be, you would be, you would be, you would be obsessed. Mm. You you need like two so that you can like oh, no. be one. balanced. You know, I need one. No, because that child travel. will be so spoiled. I can't travel like <laughs> busy. I can't like I Oh, don't you know. need to, you need to. You know, when I when I because I remember us back in the days when we we started out and we used to like talk about, you know, what we were Families wanted about, and what we wanted. What we wanted yeah. about career and all of that. And looking at you now, I'm super proud of, you know, the fact that life has kicked you a couple of times but you've I, know, I think I'm strong but I look you weird are. and like oh, girl you are you are you are like I'm very proud of you too thank you because I even I remember some of the advice that you gave me and I'm like hmm talk I knew what she was talking that time if only I you know whichever if only, only but I'm yeah. glad to see you doing your thing everywhere you too that's huge well. that's important um because it's like you 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 took a little break to sort the mommy thing out. You yes. came back to this business and literally almost had to start from scratch. Yeah. And you've not looked back since you put your hand no, on the plow. And it's such a beautiful thing to see regardless of, you know, the fact that there's a lot of shit that comes from what we do. But yes, I hope that is. in your silent moments, even with all that's going on with your mental health, you have those moments where you're proud of yourself because you should be. Honestly, thank you. you thank really you very be. much. So oh. let's talk about love. Because you know you, you know that boy and you got me stressed on that show. Hmm. Like, girl, I wasn't a believer of this shit first to start with. In the okay. beginning, I thought, why? You know, <laughs> Benita is not going to go and look for love. I think, I think, I think it's not real. But at some point, I became a believer and a fan. I was like, I think it's a... <laughs> I used to be one of those annoying people. Don't kill me, my God. Yeah, and then... What the hell happened with the... Like, girl, can we fix this? First to start with, can we... A selfish part of me loved the two of you together. Let me tell you what I love the most. The day you were arguing with someone and he lifts you up and takes you and drops you in the room. I was just like, who am I going to fight with? Who is going to come and carry me right now? Wahala. You know, but it was very beautiful to see you. See that side of you. That's a sign nobody has, nobody sees. We all saw it. Yeah, but in real life, like, people don't see. What do you mean? We all watched both of us. I you. know you watched both of us. I'm saying in my real life, in the real world, okay. you know. I know you're a lover girl. But yeah. you, but as in like, you don't see it. Even. Yeah. I don't see you. I think there's only up. like one or two where you're like, really? Me? Yeah. And then I'm like. Mm-hmm. And you're like, nigger again. You're like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's. 
that was that was interesting. That's been very weird to deal with coming out. Do you think yeah. like outside God made it worse? When it was just two of you in that bubble, do yeah. you feel like it was so much better? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? When it was just both of you, like you got to know this person. Yeah. Well, but in the house, the people that also in, had like... I don't... I think... Um, we're we're post show, right? So, mm. you know, there's a lot that is happening that people don't know about. Okay. Um. And I don't have all the pieces mm. to the big general picture. I'm literally taking each day as it comes mm. and focusing on the love and the positivity, and of course, looking for work because obviously you're unemployed for a couple of months. You gotta go find the work. Mm. Um, like, I don't regret the experience. Um, but I still try to understand. Mm. Uh, What's the going on? The dust has not settled. Yeah. And that's fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fair. The dust hasn't settled. And um, I'm grown. I wouldn't like anything to be negative. Mm. Um, no matter what the situation is. So literally, I'm just like, okay. You know. Would you date pop- that publicly? Because I am hearing a lot of hesitation. And I'm wondering if you guys even got together. Like, is this something you can handle in the public sphere. I have never fans. been in this space before. I know. <laughs> and it is very uncomfortable for me to literally have my chest play out and then it's still out mm-hmm. and still, you know, kind of... I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I've never actually publicly come out and been like... Yes, I'm dating somebody. Mm. You know, you'll just see maybe one or two small things mm. if I feel the need to do that at all. I'm very used to not. You wouldn't know who who, you're with. who I'm yeah. on to do, you know dinner with, what we're doing, or where did we go. You won't know any of that. So I think while I was in the house, I really kind of like really just let go mm. of uh. Awareness of maybe like, okay, everybody mm. is... I know everybody's watching. Was it about the person? Was it something about him that made you just let go? Um, in the house? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think it was... Um, I mean, of course, he has, you know, characteristics that definitely drew me to him. But with a little bit of encouragement, and I feel like I'm always closed off, stagnant, you know, this whole... I'm going out to dinner once or twice a year. It's really bad, mm. you know? And even apart from, like, I wanted to connect yeah. with the person. So yeah. I was open to to the energy, definitely. It was definitely beautiful to watch, however. And if nothing happens Thank from you. it, you know, as, as long as you don't look at it and regret it, I think it's one of those things where you found yourself in that space and you made good use of everything that came your way. I know. I feel like there's a lot you're holding back on, <laughs> girl. And I think I, I, I also well, feel like it also comes from not knowing what the other person would also say in another interview. And it's just like I just don't want to fit into all of this because I don't want to. When say you this. come out, um, so there are so many people that are invested in your journey, and then you have people. There are some people who are not invested in your journey, just invested in the journey of the duo, and that's like another layer mm. on top. And if you are my girl, which you are, and I call you and I say, hey, T, this situation is happening. Tell me what you think. You're going to advise me as best as you can for Mm. me because you care about me. You may not necessarily know any other party involved, what the situation is, but you're going to advise for me. If I do something a little bit contrary to what you have advised, you might be a little bit annoyed because why did you come and ask me for advice? You understand if there's a little hiccup there, you might be more on it. Whatever it is, you're vested for me. Mm. Not considering 
the other person in the whole bigger picture. So I think when you come out and then you have, you know, he has quite a big fan base. I have a very huge fan base now, um, you know, and everybody has what they want to say in your interests. They have what they want to say in your interest. Okay, fine. That's social media. But then you have your loved ones mm. who watched from a biased point of view. Um, no matter how diplomatic they try to come across, they want your best interest. Mm. They're going to protect you. Mm. And I would imagine it's the same on the other side. So that can do, a that lot. can have mm. a lot of effect on things. So you just need to, as an individual, decide, okay, I'm going to block all of this out and I want to carry this along or I want to drop it and all of this is getting to me. But even then, it's not straightforward. Mm. If you are communicating, that's great. You can say, hey, sorry, excuse me, saw this on social media. It bothered me. Mm -hmm. You know, care to explain. Yeah, but why don't we like to simplify things? This is, we're grown. If, yeah. Why? What is stopping the communication? Why can't we so simplify things? This is your person, like regardless well, maybe, of all the noise. Maybe it's, it's just gray. It, there are shades of gray. I get it. Do you see why there's I'm not shades dating? Shades of gray. <laughs> but to be honest, I did ask. I did ask the. Dating I think I life. asked the right questions, mm -hmm. and um, I have not watched the dinner date. Well, yeah, everyone talked about this breakfast. I have not watched it intentionally because I don't want to see it. Mm. Um, I was there, so I know what I was thinking and mm. what I was feeling. I don't want to see how it came across, mm. if you get what I mm. mean. But in, when I spoke to, because he was one of the people that I spoke to, um, for those who don't live in Nigeria, of course, you need to catch up. This is mm -hmm. obviously Venita from, you know, the All-Star season. I just remember that we do have people that are watching from Kenya. Okay. But they also watch the All-Stars, so yeah. they probably know what I'm talking about. When he was interviewed, he did say that you guys had not been, you know, he had gone to a point where he would ask if you guys are cool and you just were not, you, you wasn't responding to him. So what we saw was not what's really happened in his defense. It was a case that he would ask you, are you okay? Or are you doing this? Or let's do this date or let's do it. And then you just was not responding. When, when was this? This was the last, on, also, he came on the last show. I, I did speak to him about it. You mean outside the house? Yes. So I think here's another. He said it wasn't what we saw that looked like it. It didn't, there was no breakfast that was. So he was saying the questions were asked inside or asked no, outside? No, so when, I, when we asked, when I asked about this whole breakfast situation where yeah. he broke up with you on national TV or yeah. whatever, he says that never happened. Yeah, he that says, didn't happen like that He says like that, that you guys were just not, he was asking you, and then you got him so confused because he would ask you, are you okay? What can I do? And you just wouldn't respond. And like, he didn't know what to do. No. So he he I, he did come and check. Oh, hey, are you okay? And I was like, I'm annoyed with you kind of thing. And that was it. It wasn't a thing of I turned around and yelled at him. I literally was like, I'm, I'm yeah. not talking yeah, but to he you. Said, I'm he he did you. say what you just said now, but he didn't know how to handle it because it's like you weren't speaking to him. He asked once. Uh, so was he supposed to ask 10 times, VZ baby? No, but I thought this is all in the space of one day. Like, so is this like... Yeah. He yeah. asked, and then we did a task. I think we failed the wager. We just failed the wager, and then we had 10 minutes to get ready for dinner. I'm like, what? So I was already like on... Uh, mm -hmm. Irritated, stressed out, rushing. I wanted to be pretty. I wanted to be cute. I was looking forward to the dinner. I didn't think we would have the dinner when we're not, you know, smiling with each other. Mind. And it was week nine. It was mm. week nine, the end of week nine. The next day was eviction. So the I believe we were there. both up, I think, or at least I know I was up. Um, so one, somebody is quite likely to go. Mm. This is the highest chance ever. And I wanted to get some, uh, you know, affirmation or some kind of reassurance reassurance um so that was where i was going with it but you know as we're now post show i don't think that's what was understood i think some things things that i said or what i'm realizing is some things that i've said again have been mm. misconstrued a certain mm. way i just wish that it was communicated to me so i could effectively correct yeah. Yeah. what yeah. needed to be correct mm. corrected um it's never too late. That's what I always say about every situation. Regardless, when the dust settles, you guys can see yourself again and 
maybe you guys can have that conversation and who knows and if that's not the person they will always you are love and light you were definitely you know very 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 deserving of the love that you give to others so i definitely think Thank that you. you deserve to be happy you know yeah. so regardless you know if is is the question now should be I guess you're talking about the dust settling and all of that, but is that even someone that you would even want in your life in the first place? Do you guys have similar... Like, is you see that situation and think, I can be with this person for a while? I don't really tend to get involved with situations that I'm not trying to be involved in for, for a, a while. Because yeah. I'm not 21. I'm not necessarily looking um, for... I don't know how to explain an overnight wedding or that kind of thing. Mm. I want to take my time. Mm. And, you know, as we know, you can get married, but what marriage entails and what it takes to keep it is a whole nother thing. So, I mean, for me to walk down an aisle, I don't know what kind of <laughs> things you need to give to me. Jesus needs to come and tell you, sis. Or, you need to move. You know, but... Actually, having said that, if I'm in love with the right person and they love me back, why, why not? not? Mm. You know, at least I have, you know, more experience now. So I know that takes more to go into it. But I, I don't know everything about him. Mm. Um, we were in the It's not enough time to get to know anybody. But in terms of characteristics for somebody that I... Yeah, definitely. He's an yeah. amazing person. Oh, that's sweet to hear. Yeah, he's an amazing person. Mm. I, will, I will never take that away from him. Um, so yeah, the, I, but I, it, there's more to it than that, of course, if you want to go mm. forward into more serious turf, but mm. he absolutely has all the qualities. He was raised very well. Mm. Yeah. His mom did a good job. Oh, I love hearing that. That's <laughs> so nice. So what's next for you girl coming out and heading back to more acting? Most definitely. I mean, yes, we're back on set. Um, so end of the month. Do you feel like you need some time to detox from all of this before you throw I need to back? go away. Yeah. Um, and switch off. Can you do that though? Do you think you can? Yes and no. Are you one of those people that will say I can and then you're like... Yes and no. Yeah. My switch off, I, I have to check on the kids. So that on, that switching on is going to happen. Um, also do you know what I want? One of those travel companies need to literally just get you and this boy to go to Zanzibar, one of those fun places where there are no fans, there's no interviews, there's no chit-chatting. It's just both of you and deep blue water. That sounds scary. You think he will drown you? No. You mean mommy water? Why you didn't fear? You didn't It just, I'd be confronting a lot. Girl, we need to let go of this masculine energy that we've had. Things that we've not, been this through. This one is not even a masculine. I don't know what it is, but like, if it's you see the way the stuff. circus is going round, listen, that's the best way I... to confront stuff. Where it is, we're going to walk this shit out. A non-confrontational person? No, 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 no. There, he's going to have to talk. Guess what? It's only water you put in front of you. There's no phones. There's nothing. After a while, you have to talk to yourselves. If you avoid yourself for the first night, second night, you'll be like, your hair is nice. You, you look nice. Third night is like, okay, so let's no, talk. No, it's, it's crazy to Le- Honestly? You literally are nearby and it's an issue. You're away and it's That's an why issue. I said no phones. I probably would like... <laughs> Panic shut down. Your reunion is definitely going to be one for the books. I mean, definitely. <laughs> I, you know, and um, I hope that we resolve more than we actually, you know, destroy. Yeah. To be honest, I'm mm. open to hearing whoever wants to have a conversation with me out mm. because it may be important for them. It may be part of their healing. Mm. If I, I have another housemate who is relevant to part of my healing, not that it's dependent, but I would like them to be open to speaking to me. So I'm genuinely keeping an open mind. Mm. And a lot can happen between now and when that reunion um, occurs. Mm. Uh, I'm happy that you're keeping an open mind and you're open to, yes, I do. to resolving issues with anyone. Who, I do, I will. Mm. Like, you know, I was talked about quite a lot. So, you know, mm. if, if you want to come and talk to me about it, that would be nice. Mm. But if you don't want to, that's okay too. Because, mm. you know, most of them are not in my daily or regular circle at all. Like, mm. not even my bi-monthly, not even my bi-annually circle. But, um, I would appreciate that and I can respect that. So definitely, I would, mm. you know, be Does open to that. Does it offend you when they're making their media rounds and they make comments about you? 
I think initially I did catch some emotional flack from it. I did feel a little bit bad from one or two things or it wasn't quite how it was said. But at the same time, I came out. Mm. I didn't have all the information. I have my own perspective the same way A, B, or C is going to have their perspective. Some people are going to be more honest than others. I'm ready for the fact that not everybody is as honest Mm. or as transparent as me as well. Each to their own. Like, we are all part of a, an all-star mm. story. Mm. It was you all-star, so it was definitely going to be yeah. this boom, you know. And, and I think it was going to be boom. someone who's, who, who, from your season and now, you definitely left, you were talked about. The people who, literally, if you're going to talk about all-stars, you always talk about you, your name would be in there. Yeah. So, so that's, that should be one of the things that you achieved, good or bad. And, you know, a story is a story. A story is a story. And um, I did things Vanita's way. You know, it was just so funny. Like, even we went to the presentation not too long ago, WOW event, and Baye was holding on to me. And she was like, she was looking uncomfortable. We went to the bathroom. And she was like, I wish they showed more moments of this for you. And I appreciated that. Because I don't think they showed all her best moments either. And she had great ones. You know, um, but you can't pick and choose. Mm. You just got to roll with it. Um, but work-wise, definitely getting stuck in. I am like in limbo waiting for the calendar to mm-hmm. cement itself. And then I can put in my much needed breaks. Mm. I hope to go away before the end of the month. I hope you get to do that as well. And um, yeah. Yeah. There's no way that I will go that I will not shout now. So let me go. And just have a good Go time. where the good shouting yeah. and the good love is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Reality versus real life. Yeah, mm. you can see Benita in all of her glory. Make sure you're tuning on the next episode of Toke Moments. My name is Toke Makewa. Chat with you on the next episode, guys. Mwah.